there are several ways to add images to work that students need to send to you. One of the ways is to add an empty card in Workspace. So you say photo here, and then you don't add anything to this, the rest of the card. You can hit done. So basically it's an empty card. Students will just see, and I'll show you exactly what the students will see. So I'll pop over to 18 here. Students will see that they can upload from their device, from Drive, or include a link. And once they do that, they will see that they have uh, the document already added there. So that's one way to do it. The next way to do it is to actually create a Google, a document that the students will add to. So this document is uh, perhaps could go in the third column and then it prompts the people to add a picture. So what they would do is go to the insert images and they could pull from their drive, from photos or uh, from their camera, including even uploading from your computer. That's one way. So then you would be able to get something like this where they could add multiple photos. This photo is added from a Chromebook using the add image feature. So let's do another example. So here it is from the camera. There it is in front of the image. Click, the preview is here and there's insert. Another way students or parents may su submit documents to you is they may just throw it into the general drive of the student. Well, in the sharing tab, you have access to all the documents that are in those folders. So if you choose sharing, so I'm in the dashboard, I've chosen sharing and I've selected all docs. And what's nice about it is that I can actually see that one minute ago, there were two images uploaded. And if I hover over, over top of this, I actually can see a preview of what the student has actually done. So if this meets my criteria, that's awesome as well.